In this video, we're going to introduce the concept of types in Python. So in Python, we can store information like names, ages, or grades using different types. We use different types to store information because some operations only make sense for certain types. For example, we might want to add together two numbers, but it wouldn't really make sense to try to add together two first names. So we can create a variable called age and we can assign to it the value 24 using the assignment operator. We would say that age refers to the value 24 and 24 is an int type value. We can actually check the type of value that a variable refers to using the type function. So here we could say print type age and the type function is going to return the type of value that age refers to. If we save our program and test it out, we're going to get class int. And that's because the variable age refers to an int type value, in this case, 24. The reason why it says class int is that technically everything in Python is what's called an object and objects belong to classes. In this case, 24 belongs to the class int. We could create some other variables that refer to values of different types. So for example, we could say here name is equal to Barbara Liskov. And here I've put these characters in between these double quote characters here. That's going to create what's called a string. So here, if we print type name and save our program and test that out, we now get class str, where str means a string type value. We use strings to store sequences of characters, whereas int variables are used to store integers, like the number 24. Numbers with decimal places, like 24.5, are not integers. Those are called real numbers, or in Python, floats. So for example, we could have here average is equal to 94.59, and average is referring to a float type value. We could have here print type average. And if we save our program and run it, we now get class float. Another common type in Python is what's called a bool. A bool can store true or false values. So for example, we could have is student equal to true. And then here we could have print type is student. And if we save our program and run it, we get class bool. And that's because is student refers to the bool type value true. There are special types in Python called collections that allow us to store multiple values. So for example, one type of collection is called a list. We could have here grades is equal to open bracket 92.56, 93.45, and 97.78. And so the variable grades refers to a list type value. And this list actually stores three float values. Down here, we could have print type and then grades. And if we save our program and run it, we get class list here. And that's because grades refers to a list type value. Now I'll stop here in terms of introducing new types because there are many types in Python and it's also possible to create our own types in Python as well. One thing I should mention is that types exist as part of a type hierarchy. So for example, float and int are both subtypes of numeric. We would say that float and int are both numeric types and numeric types also include complex where complex is another type that allows us to store complex numbers. Now when programming, it's important that we're aware of the different types we have and the different things we can do with values of those types. So for example, let's say we have here number one is equal to 41 and number two is equal to 50. Here I've used strings to represent the numbers 41 and 50. And technically that's fine. 
there's no rule that I have to store this information as int type values. But if I try to add together number one and number two, I might not get the result I expect. So here, if I have sum is equal to number one plus number two, I might think that I'm adding together number one and number two. But then here, if I try to print out the sum, and if I save this and run the program, we get here 4,150. What's happened is that number one and number two both refer to strings. And the plus operator, when used with strings, performs string concatenation. So the string 41 is concatenated with the string 50, and we get 4150. If I wanted to actually perform addition with the numbers stored in number one and number two, I would have to convert them to int values. And I can use the int function to do that. So here, I could have int number one, and then int number two. And this int function will take the string and convert it to an int type value. Now, because both of these values are int type values, the plus operator is now going to add those two values together and produce the sum. So we can save our program and test it out. And we now get 91, which is the correct sum of 41 and 50. So when programming, it's very important that we're aware of types because only some types can do certain things and we may get incorrect program behavior if we use types incorrectly. So this has been an introduction to types in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.